From left to right, Jackson Vaughn in the middle, Shelby Sailors, and on the right, Cheyenne Fletcher. Coach, first off, your team blew a te couple teams out, went in by the mercy rule in the first two games. This one, you grinded out your pitcher uh, through every inning, standing next to you, and then the go-ahead home run by a one-time Northwest Conference player of the year, Cheyenne Fletcher. Just kind of talk me through the star power that really came through for you today. Um, obviously, we wouldn't have won without Shelby, for sure. Um, just, uh, pitched great in the conference tournament and pitched great uh, this basically entire tournament. And then to have to pitch two games back-to-back -back is obviously super impressive. I, I don't know that's something she could have done. Obviously, at the start of the year, even earlier in her career, but with stamina-wise and with the team and all the stuff that we don't normally deal with, it was pretty impressive. Um, the team you know, played obviously well pretty much the entire tournament, but today we certainly cooled off a little bit. I thought their pitcher did some good things, and we had a few opportunities we didn't capitalize on, and then it got tight, you know, whenever you're kind of rolling along, and then you kind of have a bump, and the kids are so used to things becoming easy. I thought we tightened up a little bit, and uh, it was huge that Fletch had the home run to kind of give us the one run lead. I told them in about the fourth inning, if we scored three, I thought we'd win for sure. Uh, we didn't quite hit three, we got two, but <laughs> even that, the way Shelby was pitching, we felt if we could get the lead back in the late inning. Shelby, you were on it this entire tournament. This kind of take me through your performances as a whole. What, two hits against George Fox, three hits uh, here in that second game, and then three hits here again. And just dominant stuff from you from inside the circle all weekend. Uh, I mean, I was just kind of focused on like making sure that they didn't get on the board and making sure that we were just getting back in the dugout to get, just keep hitting. And so, yeah. Cheyenne, finally, you had two huge home runs, none bigger than the, the eventual game winner that you hit here in the fifth. You knew it as soon as you hit it. It's going to take me through that moment for you uh, and what that meant for your team. Um, it felt awesome, and I knew that just like that was kind of the energy and that we needed to kind of get rolling and have the confidence that like we're going to win this game and uh, we're going to get out of here and go to Texas. You know? You're one of the few, I shouldn't say few, many vocal leaders on this team. But then to do that and have a you know, watch me go do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put us on the board. And in a game where your team only had seven hits on a weekend, where your team was really hitting the ball, what did that mean to you to be able to go and do that? Um, I think it meant a lot, just because I think a lot of people look up to me in a way. Like, I am very vocal, and I do like to say, think that I bring a lot of energy. So, kind of being a good example and like kind of setting the tone, I think, kind of sets the tone for the rest of the game and the rest of the batters behind me. Finally, Coach, you're either going to Texas or Texas is coming here. We won't know officially yet until after after tomorrow when those two play, but your thoughts heading into the Super Regional round? Um, we're just going to kind of hopefully enjoy this one for a day or two, but we know whoever we play is going to be really good, so um, we'll face either the second or third ranked team in the country, and uh, both of them are outstanding. We've had a lot of battles against Tyler and uh, Texas Luther, and I know just from, we almost played them when we got rained out at their place, but we've kind of followed them close, we know their coach a little bit. Uh, but he's done a great job building that program. So we know uh, we're going to face someone really good, which is kind of exciting we get to go play one of the best teams in the country. And uh, in some ways, we're kind of playing, not with house money, but kind of. If you would have asked us back at the start of the year, how we started the year in California, uh, two and three, we didn't, didn't play very good. Um, then to be regional champs at the end of the year, I think any of these guys would have taken that in a heartbeat. Awesome. Thanks, guys.